What's good, everybody? It's your boy Benzilla. I'm back. Uh, I know it's been a while since I've done a video, and I got a, you know, I got some explaining to do. So, I um, I started a new project on a motorcycle uh, on a 1997 Honda VT1100, and um, I've been working on it throughout this whole quarantine, a little bit longer than throughout this whole quarantine as well. But um, I had all the stuff ready for posting on YouTube uh, maybe a month and a half ago, at least the progress that I had made. And my computer blew up, so I lost all my data. Uh, so lesson learned, save everything externally and you know get ready but it's all good i'm still gonna do a little video about what i did to this bike show you a little progress so let's get it going oh. i bought a vt 1100 honda shadow and it was completely bone stock except for maybe some uh vance and Heim pipes that i had uh that had come with it so um what I did was I left the pipes on and I just started to build myself. So here you go. <clears throat> so there it is, the VT 1100. And I'm gonna walk you through the bike and let you know all the stuff I did to it. And again, I did this, you know, all by myself, just uh, uh, coronavirus, COVID-19 project build. But also, you know, I've been wanting a bike for a long time and I always used to ride and this is uh, just something that I've been wanting to get back into. And now that I got back into it and we're gonna just see where this goes. Don't mind the paint job because it's gonna get repainted soon. So I bought, uh, I had a video of all the stuff that I bought to put on here too. Uh, but regardless, so let's get into it. Uh, so the first thing I guess you'll notice, notice is the tank here. Uh, it was a completely stock tank, as you can tell by the logo. Um, it, had a, it had some dents on it, so I just decided to dish it in. So what I did was I took a little shaping hammer and just dished in the sides so that they, it would give that old school chopper look. And um, I liked it, it turned out really nice. This dent is still here. I'm gonna see if the paint guy can get that out, but otherwise I, I don't really mind the dent, it's not too bad. <laughs> so that's a... Uh, what I did to the tank, it, it wasn't too hard and, and the inside of the tank was mad clean. So I did have to change the pet cock because uh, the old pet cock was just crusty and it was bad. Uh, so then uh, I bought new uh, handlebars. So these are just some one inch Z bars that I got off of Amazon, mad cheap, super cheap. Deleted the front uh, fender. I might put it back on, I don't know yet. I'm gonna have him paint it. And then we'll see. Uh, haven't changed the headlight yet, but I might do that. Uh, I did take off the lollipop uh, headlights and put on these uh, small bullet style headlight, or excuse me, indicators, turn signals. So I got rid of the lollipop turn signals and put these on. And man, they was a beast to wire. I don't know what, how I figured it out, but I figured it out. Um, wiring is not my thing. Uh, and I, I, obviously you can see them back here. And I changed to the side plate uh, with the with the brake light. Um, I don't know if I'm gonna keep it there or not, but we'll see. And then I went ahead and hardtailed it with some struts that I got off of Amazon as well. Uh, or did I get, I, I might've got these off of eBay, but either way, hardtail. And there's the Vance and Hind pipes. I'm gonna take these off because one, I like them, but they just not, it's just not tuned for this bike. Um, and I don't feel like re retuning. I had to rebuild the carb and get a whole new jet kit, put that in there. But I'm just not feeling the pipes as much as I was before when it was stock. But we'll figure that out eventually. I think I'm gonna get some uh, down drafts or, or something like that, or maybe even build them myself. So who's, who knows? Uh, but I'll get those taken off. Got the solo seat, which I'm gonna, I'm gonna build a different bracket for this because this the bracket that comes with those are cheap. I love the seat though. It's mad comfy, despite what a lot of people might say. It's super comfy. Um, and then 
what I did was I took the original fender off of this and I chopped it and chopped it uh, at the uh, original end and I flipped it around and then I created this bracket down here for it and that bracket was literally just a, a, scr a scrap piece of metal that I went to the scrap yard and found and I just drilled some holes here drilled some holes there right into the frame and that's that and then I took and then I got this uh, 30 inch um, sissy bar and welded on these bungs and welded on these tabs so that it would fit onto the strut here so that's pretty much all I've done so far I'm gonna change out the mirrors because obviously these mirrors look goofy as hell but I don't know what I'm, what I'm gonna do with all the chrome I might leave it I might not leave it I don't know yet but um, I also changed it to a k and k and n filter uh, I'm gonna take this definitely take this chrome shroud off and I'm gonna change out the uh, foot pegs eventually I chopped the back foot pegs off and I and I'm gonna build some uh, covers side covers because obviously I don't want this exposed gonna build some right here I'm trying to decide how I, you know what I want it to look like if I want a mesh look or if I want a straight metal look uh, and then and then I'm gonna build a bracket here so that I can keep this seat but make sure it's not as flimsy as this you know what I mean uh, but other than that it's good I got it back from the shop today they uh, checked my fuel pump and made sure everything was good so let me fire it up for you guys So, uh, so again, I hope you guys don't mind that I'm doing this a little bit later than I wanted to do it, but I had, I had videos of the whole process, man. Uh, me welding, which I'll probably try to cut some of that in, cut whatever I did, some pictures of all, cause that was my little station, man. These are all the tools I use. Like there was nothing special. I bought this little cheap welder from Harbor Freight. Uh, Stitcher cords, some of my regular tools that I use to work on uh, my my truck over there, and then some jacks and a little bit of a wheel lock, and that's that's it, man. So that's all I did. And mug runs nice. It's a beautiful bike. It's fun to ride. I mean, I can't complain. So anyway, stay tuned for a couple of riding videos, and we'll see. Uh, We'll see what happens later on with this build, all right? Thanks. Thanks for watching the channel. Like, subscribe, leave a comment. Let me know what you guys would do to the bike. And hopefully the next time you guys see this really, really done, it'll be a all painted for the color scheme that I'm thinking about going with. So anyway, yo, thanks a lot. This is Benzilla06. Like, subscribe, tell me what you think, and let me know what you want to see next, all right? Peace. Yo, what's going on, everybody? Benzilla back here again, just doing a little bit of voiceover uh, for this B-roll footage. So some of this footage is um, 
uh, some of the stuff that I lost, um, but I was able to find again on my uh, a couple of uh, discs that I had uh, saved from the old computer. Um, still not everything, but this was a video from maybe like a few months ago. Not even a few months ago. I think this was. Yeah, no, this was a few months ago. I think this was back right when the, the lockdown and coronavirus had all started. And uh, I came home just to pull this out and uh, do some you know, maintenance on it, uh, get some things done, and then uh, try to uh, get it to the um, shop to get inspected. So I'm just geeked and happy that I'm about to start this whole project. And um, I don't know, I'm just happy with it. But uh, just going through a couple of things on this joint. Um, so that was the, the bike. Um, originally the original setup so you know pretty common not too not too uh nothing's too special so and then this is a a little bit of the chopping job that i did i chopped off the uh, rear pedals they had the uh, not the real pedals the pegs uh the passenger peg so it had the flat um long style passenger pegs on there i didn't want to chop it off but um they were the rust on the uh, cotter pin was so frozen on there I couldn't even get it off so um, I just decided to go ahead and chop it man I mean I figured I bought this uh, these tools and this bike and shoot it's mine I can do whatever I want to do with it and it wasn't too bad it was pretty fun um, my first time chopping on a bike before and I was like yo I don't want to cut anything uh, but you know right here you can see I uh, you know I'm probably second guessing some things but then I'm thinking to myself you know what this is mine I can do whatever I want with it, so I'll go ahead and uh, and just let it let it happen, let the sparks fly where they lay, uh, so to speak. But um, it's a shaft drive, as you guys can see, um, which I I wasn't necessarily look, particularly looking for a shaft drive. I would love to have a um, a chain drive or a belt drive, but these VT 1100s, uh, I don't think they came in um, in a chain drive at least uh, not 97, but the shaft drive is cool. I managed to do some, I changed the the, um, the gear oil in the back and these things last forever as long as you take care of them. So uh, the good thing was um, this bike was in pretty decent shape when I first got it. And sorry it's taking so long for me to get through this sequence, but um, I had to put on my uh, protective eyewear, uh, which I left in my truck, so. You know, safety first, y'all. Safety first. Um, but anyway, yo, I bought that when I got this bike. Actually, here's what here's the story. What happened? My mother bought this bike from my little sister's friend who had a bad situation, um, and she got it for like mad cheap. This bike was um, only 800 bucks, and so she bought it, and then she tried to. She said, "I want to learn how to ride," and I was like, "Oh, okay." And then like a couple months later, after she bought it, she was like. I don't know what I'm gonna do with this bike. It's too big for me. I, I can't. I can't learn on this bike. And I was like, well, I'll take it. <laughs> so that's how I basically got the bike. So I'm paying my mom 800 bucks for it. And I just said, what can I do with this bike? Cause I, I love it. I want to do something with it. I'm so happy I finally got another bike. Cause I sold my first bike um, that I bought in college. I sold that uh, so I can move to New York and pay my first month's rent and deposit. Um, which it worked out well, but I. I missed it and I was so mad that I sold it so I just got this one. to strip down the bike for the most part um, I got to I got the rear fender off and I got to prep it so that I can cut it I think I'm gonna cut it right about here and then test fit to basically what I'm gonna do is instead of kind of buying a whole new uh, fender and all that stuff I'm gonna cut this and then test fit it by flipping it backwards like like you see right there. So it, it usually goes with this end with the tail light out, the fish tail, whatever. So I'm putting it, flipping it backwards 
cutting, chopping it, and then rebolting it to the original bolt hole on the frame. By the way, you can tell I didn't do that from earlier in the video. And I'm also going to patch my, my new indicator lights through the bolt holes as well. And then that'll finish up the back end. Of it. I'm gonna try to fabricate some new side, uh, side covers. One side cover to fit on this outer case of this battery. So when the, when the uh, battery box is in, so when the battery box is in here, the outer part of the case is gonna be or the side uh, shield is gonna be right here and it'll be able to flip down. So I still haven't figured out how I'm gonna do that, but that's one of the projects I had to do. We're gonna take the carbs out this weekend. I'm taking the bars, the original bars that came with it off right now, and I'm gonna test fit my new bars. I'm gonna take the front uh, fender off because it has a dent right here. And I'll probably just chop that and then flip it around, see if uh, see if it looks good or fits well, or whatever. And then I gotta figure out what I can do to make this wiring a little neater, but that's not too bad. But once the carbs are off, I'm gonna clean the carbs, put uh, new jets in them, and uh, just get them back together. And then for the gas tank. I'm going to, because this gas tank has a few dents on it as well, I'm going to just try to dish the sides in and then strip the paint, repaint it. But I'm gonna do that little, you know, dish that a lot of the classic choppers have um, on both sides. I'm gonna give it a shot. It'll be my first time doing it, but it can't make the tank look any worse. <laughs> so we'll see got paint chipping and stuff anyway so and I gotta get a new pet a new pet cock because the pet cock I got is just damaged man it's it's dripping ain't nothing I can do about it the gasoline I'm dripping gas all over the place I couldn't even I couldn't even like block it off when I was taking it out to get the gas can so either way anyway this is what's up with the bike so this is the state it's in right now we're gonna uh Move forward and see what we can do.